Hi, this video will show you the steps on how to set up a manual IP address and a DNS in the cases where customers are having trouble accessing their video services and get, are getting error messages. So this is a case where they do the internet setup, everything connects okay, yet when they try to access these services, uh, they're getting error messages. So we're going to set up the manual IP address and DNS. First we need to go to setup, then we need to go down to network settings. Inside network settings, we need to go to internet settings. Inside internet settings, we need to go to view network status. And then here we can check the signal strength and we can get these numbers that are important, the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. So you wanna write these down uh, on your notepad for the customer because you're gonna get him to put these in later on during the setup. So get the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. Then back, we'll go to wireless setup if they're doing wireless. This will find the available wireless networks and it should say connected to the one that they're currently connected to. But since we want to set up the manual stuff, we need to go up to manual registration and then press the button in the middle. And then you can choose manual registration again. And the network SSID will already be there since they connected auto without any problems, so we don't want to change that. We just want to leave it there and the arrow to the right. Then we can choose the security. It should be on the one that was already chosen during the auto setup. So leave it highlighted on the one it was that it's highlighted on for this instance WPA WPA2 arrow to the right. It'll ask for the password. So get the customer to press the button in the middle and it's not there when you're doing the manual registration so you're going to have to put in the password. It's case sensitive so make sure that the customer is putting in the capital letters if they are necessary. As you can see on the bottom of the screen there is colored symbols. In this case the red one is for capitals and once the password is in they can go to enter, press the button in the middle and now arrow to the right. Please select how to set up your IP address. You're going to go to custom. Under this, you're going to go to specify IP address. So here on this screen, you can then set those IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway you got from the view network settings and status. And press the button in the middle. You can actually use the numbers on the remote if they have them on their Blu-ray player. One, six, eight, arrow to the right, two, arrow to the right, 36, and press the button in the middle. Press the button in the middle, and now we can put those primary DNSs and secondary DNSs. And in the middle, eight, eight, arrow to the right, eight, arrow to the right, eight. And then secondary DNS, enter, eight, arrow to the right, eight, arrow to the right, four, arrow to the right, four. And then enter. And then you would confirm with the customer that everything's correct. So 192.168.2.36, subnet mass 255.255.255.0, default gateway, primary DNS, secondary DNS, make sure all the numbers are right. And then arrow to the right on the remote. Do you want to use a proxy server? No, just arrow to the right. Giving you how it's going to be set up, arrow to the right. And save and connect, press the button in the middle of the arrows. If all the numbers were correct and the password was correctly entered, you should get wireless connection OK, internet access OK. Press return, go back up to setup, arrow to the right towards video, and then try their Netflix or YouTube or one of the services that were not connecting before. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to set up a manual IP address and DNS inside a 2012 Sony Blu-ray player. Thank you for watching.